So now we're going to look at the Clickbank side of the membership plugin. You'll remember in the last video, we set up this sales link, which directs to the thank you page, which is our domain name, forward slash thank you, forward slash clicktx.php. <clears throat> so we now need to configure that script and upload it to our web server so that this works. If you look in the folder where you unpacked everything, that's the plugin that we've already installed there. And there's a folder called Thank You. And in there are three files. Now the first file, clicktx.php, you do not have to edit or change or do anything to. Uh, you have two files that you can edit. One is config.php, which we're going to bring up now, where we put some settings in. And the other is the HTML page that everything redirects to after it's done the user's upgrade. So you can edit that page to be anything you like. Uh, it needs to contain some basic things to follow Clickbank's rules. Uh, let's just pull that one up. So mine just its a very plain page. Thank you for upgrading. You have to have that line about your credit card, which I charge to Clickbank, and it will tell them that their membership's been upgraded. They can log in. Now you can edit this to be anything you like. Uh, a good idea. You could make it into a one-time offer page if you wanted to, so you, you're not limited by that. And then just give them a link to log in afterwards. As I say, at the point they see this page, the script will have already upgraded them to a paid member if their payment went through successfully. So let's look at the config PHP file. Now, there are a few things at the top here that you will need to change to make this work. So the first line there is the ClickBank secret key. Now you get that from your ClickBank account. If we go to my site and then scroll down to the bottom, you will see under advanced tools, there is a place where you can set up a secret key. And we don't need the instant notification URL feature. We just need the key. Now, for demonstration purposes, I've just put in 1234-5678. Obviously, you want something more secure than that. But for the sake of demonstration, that will do. And that's what we've put in there. Now, when you change these things to whatever it is you've made it, be very careful not to disturb the single quotation marks or the semicolons there. Just change what's in there for whatever key you want to make it. You're not limited to eight characters. If your key's more, that's fine. Uh, keys are case sensitive. Okay. The next thing is, is the database settings for your WordPress blog. Rather than try and make this script patch into the WordPress thing and gain access that way, which would cause potential security issues, it's a far better idea to give this script its own access. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to create a user that can link into that WordPress database. Now, my web host is using cPanel. I think the vast majority of web hosts out there will be using the same. So I'm going to demonstrate using this. If your host uses something different, you will have to look at your web host documentation. What you are wanting to do here is to create a user and give it full access to the WordPress database. Now, if I look down here, I've got WordPress installed. I've got a few WordPress sites installed on my hosting account. So the last one I installed, I happen to know, is this one, and that is the database for this particular WordPress blog, WRDP5. If you install your WordPress through Fantasio, it tells you what that database is anyway. If you install it any other way, it, it tells you what asks you on the way through the installation process. So when you install WordPress, just make a note of the database it creates. We are going to create a user and add it to that database. Um, you can use any name you like. I'm going to use my ClickBank account name. You don't have to, but that's just what I'm going to use for the sake of this demonstration. And I'm going to just generate a password and copy and paste that into the script. So that's the password it's generated. I'll make a copy of that. Okay, so I need to create that user. Just wait for a moment while it does that. There we go. User R makers has been added. So if I pop back into my 
in here. Now, my web host makes me prefix everything with my account name and then the then an underscore and then what is I've called it. So my user in here will actually be my account name underscore R makers. Check with your web host for how they handle things. The password, I can just copy that straight off my clipboard. And the database name, if we go back, there is the copy that into my script. Now, before we finish in control panel, we've created the user, but we haven't added it to the database. So we need to grab that username, and then we need to add it to the database. Click Add, and it will ask us what permissions, and basically we want all privileges. And then click Make Changes. Done. So user THNetArmakers has been added to that database, so now I know that that side of things is done. The final thing here is the link to the page that it goes to after the script has done all its work. So when they upgrade their membership, this script will take care of all the upgrading and then it will redirect them to whatever page is specified here. By default, it'll you put your domain name in here and I'm obviously going to the complete page that I showed you a moment ago that's in the thank you folder. You can go to any page you want to. That's fine. You can just take them straight back to the blog. You can take them to a page in the blog if you wanted to. So that's all that we need to change in here. So we can save that. And now we need to upload. So this is my favorite FTP program. You can use whichever FTP program you prefer to use. And you basically connect to your space. If you don't know how to do that, talk to your web host. Go look at your web host support site and they will give you an explanation of how to FTP in. I would imagine if you're installing this, you already know how to do that. I have connected to the main folder of my website and I'm literally going to take that thank you folder and upload it. And that is it. And that will take just a few seconds to complete. There we go. So now we are basically done. Let's go back to our blog. Okay, let's log out of here and go in as our free user. Okay, to be a gold member, click here to upgrade. That will take you to whatever your sales page is, and that link there will take you to make payment on ClickBank. Now, with ClickBank, if you want to test this on your um, site page down the bottom, you can create a dummy credit card number. Okay, so we can use this to make a test purchase. So, pop that card number in there. Expiry date was 09 2011. And 561 is the security code. Okay, so we put in our test details, we click through and our test payment has gone through and now when we click complete, we get the message saying, thank you, you have upgraded to a gold membership. Remember, this can be any page you like, um, could be a one-time offer. Now if we click back here and we will now find that user one is a paid member and can now see that paid member text so we know that it's working and that basically is how to install everything one final tip i would like to give you before i go you will notice that when my users log in it takes them whichever user it is it takes them straight into the wordpress 
page. It doesn't take them to the dashboard. And I think that's quite an important thing. It really makes things look tidier when you're running this, running a membership site through here. If you want to do that, by default, WordPress doesn't give you any way of going straight into the blog. But there is a plugin, and that plugin is free. It's called Pete's Login Redirect. And if you install that, you get a login redirect section under your settings menu. And you'll see all I've done is under the roles section, I've added paid member and subscriber and told it to go straight to the front page. And that's it, but a little tip that's uh, certainly worth knowing. And that's the installation.